Hello, everyone. I'm Tina. Today, my presentation is on music can be helpful in the learning process topic. Over the past years, music has become more accessible to the public because of the development of technology. We can use mobile phone and other device to listen to music at any time. So people link music and learning together. Therefore, I divide into three parts to introduce my presentation. The first is the role of music and why music helps enhance learning. And the last is the benefits of music for learning. Music has, music has occupied an important position in people's daily life. Next, I will introduce five points to the role of music. It can adjust the boring life, relax people's nerves, and be beneficial to their health. Music gives people pleasant hearing and make people's spirit highly enjoyed. It can help people get rid of sadness and free people from pain. Music is also used to assist in the treatment of disease, which can often achieve the effect that drug can achieve. Music makes you not alone. You may have heard that music can help your learning. Research shows that music has some positive effects on the human body and brain. So when music helps enhance learning, because music helps create a positive learning environment and enhance memory recall, music also helps boost engagement and motivation. And music allows learners to become happier. Music also helps solidify a foundation of concepts. The benefits, the benefits of music for learning, the first Pro and uh, the e pro to e student student stress, reduce text acidity, improve your performance, and it uh, help your force more. Proven to improve brain functions and so on. Next, let's watch a video. Last few decades, neuroscientists have made enormous breakthroughs in understanding how our brains work by monitoring them in real time with instruments like fMRI and PET scanners. When people are hooked up to these machines, tasks such as reading or doing math problems each have corresponding areas of the brain where activity can be observed. But when researchers got the participants to listen to music, they saw fireworks. Multiple areas of their brains were lighting up at once as they processed the sound, took it apart to understand elements like melody and rhythm, and then put it all back together into unified musical experience. And our brains do all this work in the split second between when we first hear the music and when our foot starts to tap along. But when scientists turned from observing the brains of music listeners to those of musicians, the little backyard fireworks became a jubilee. It turns out that while listening to music engages the brain in some pretty interesting activities, playing music is the brain's equivalent of a full body workout. The neuroscientists saw multiple areas of the brain light up, simultaneously processing different information in intricate, interrelated, and astonishingly fast sequences. But what is it about making music that sets the brain alight? The research is still fairly new, but neuroscientists have a pretty good idea. Playing a musical instrument engages practically every area of the brain at once, especially the visual, auditory, and motor cortices. And as with any other workout, disciplined, structured practice in playing music strengthens those brain functions, allowing us to apply that strength to other activities. The most obvious difference between listening to music and playing Oh yeah, I also want to tell you, music is strong connect to the three parts of body, mind, body, and soul. Like meditation, like that affect all three parts. Music affects them positively. Some factors are important when choosing the right music for study. Soft background music give better results during study than hard and loud music. In the end, I hope you can find, um, find music suitable for your study. To sum up, you can understand the role of music and its beneficial to learning. That's all. Thank you.